welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. It's fall and you know what? I actually really enjoy fall weather. What I do not enjoy is fall colors. You'll notice I maybe have only used brown a handful of times because it just doesn't do it for me. And I know people like it and I don't know why. I just can't get on board with it unless it's sparkly, but the like raw umbers, burnt umbers, Van Dykes, I don't know, but we're gonna get into it today. Or well, I'm gonna do my version anyways of a fall pour, which who knows if you guys will be into it. Today, we are going super simple. Oh, oh Lord. Okay, because basically for the pigments, we are going cinnamon. We are going latte, which is a really nice, like creamy, a little tan cream. And because I don't want it to look like a pumpkin patch necessarily, I'm not adding an orange, but I'm adding an interference orange, which is brulee. So it's like, you'll get a hint of the orange, hopefully not too much. And I'm only using bone black and my fave Titan buff light. Okay. So now, that is that. Let's talk about cell activators. So I didn't want to do my dark, my Payne's gray cell activator. I thought it might be too dark. I didn't necessarily want to go white. So I thought, why don't I have some fun and mix my own? So what I did was I grabbed some Van Dyke Brown. I've never used Van Dyke Brown for cell activator. And I started mixing it in my Australian Floetrol. Now, a few things to note lately, Lower trolls have been different consistencies. Some are too thin to even use, a lot are very thin. This bottle I'm using is very thin, and because this paint um, isn't opaque, it's also very thin. So I added about even a one-to-one, -one, but it's very runny. So, and it's also kind of dark, I'm not sure if I'm into it. So my idea was to add a bit of my titanium white paint, which, I took out and I put somewhere, hmm, not helpful. We'll find it in a minute, do not panic. However, then I was walking around my studio and I saw this paint I never used before. So if you've seen some of my older stuff, I used to use a lot of Liquitex gouache and I had this peach color. Then I was saying to myself, why don't I try to make this into a cell activator too? Uh, again, I put a lot in and it's very thin. So I was gonna put a bit of my, tita my titanium white in there. Um, oh, where is it? It's right here hiding, found it. So I just wanted to mix in front of you to show you what we're doing. So this, drippy. I'm gonna do a good bloop right in there. Okay, my phone shut off while I was mixing up the Van Dyke Brown, I actually am not loving it. I kept adding white to it. And I think I will add a bit more white. It is looking, it was looking a bit poopy. It's a bit less poopy, but still we don't want um, poop, do we? Uh, so we're gonna mix, mix, mix. And I'm making it pretty thick because I like a thicker CA anyways, but let's see how we're doing. So the color is looking nicer. It's looking more like a latte then poop all right oh that's okay so this is thickened up i might thin it with a bit but at least i don't hate this color it's very um neutral which is nice okay let's go to the peach so here is the peach it's quite runny so let's put a bit bloop bloop um Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully it may work. I do love fall at, at our cottage. We have, um, we live by a farm at our cottage when I'm there. And they have like berry picking in the summer. And then in the fall, they have pumpkin patches. And before COVID, they had pumpkin fest, which was so fun. This is a little thin still, but getting better. Uh, and they took a cannon and put a pumpkin in it and like shot the can so far and they have like petting zoos, you know, like really cute, like country things. So we're excited to do that again this year. So I'm just keeping adding until 
I um, like the consistency. Then we'll actually get to blooming. So, oh, my next problem, I don't have any like pillow paint ready. So I don't know what I think I'm doing here. I have actually color to go in um, tricorn black or blue. So that would be a dark background. I don't have any essentials white. So I suppose, do I wanna do a black background on this? So I do have old cans of Sherwin Williams Colors to Go White, which are so thick, I can't even use them. Okay, by the way, we're getting somewhere with this. Just a little more thick. So I'll try to figure out what my base paint's going to be. I'm always curious. Oh yeah, so I'm just gonna do it on like a 10 inch round. We'll blow it out, we'll see if we like the colors. And then we'll kind of go from there. I'm assuming it is looking, I don't know if it's gonna be like brilliant, like I'm a brilliant person or I'm silly, but you, this is nice. You will never know until you try. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I what I found was I had an old can I used to, oh, I did tint this extra white. Okay, so this is color to go, but this is a deep base, meaning they use this to tint lighter colors. Their ultra deep base is in a purple label, that's for their dark colors. So it looks like what I did was I tinted this deep base extra white because I found the regular whites, which is the green label, for me, are way too thick. In the States, they are quite thin and runny. So it just depends, you gotta check it out to see how yours is. So I figured if I tinted the deep base white, cause the deep base is thinner, but this is old, so it's actually quite thick. So I, ooh, and a bloop. I have no idea what is about to happen. Just so you know, I just wanna take this, oh, bloop out. Um, so we're kind of running, see how thick it is? Like normally it really runs cause it's thin. So you have to remember when you add like a opaque color to anything, it really um, seizes it up and thickens it up. So let me just do this, how's the color good? Okay, so I haven't even decided. Ooh. We don't know what's gonna happen with this one, guys. I might have to abort mission, we'll see. Um, it's like yogurt. <laughs> I really should get to the Home Deeps. Okay, Ooh. now let's discuss colors. I think, so I have only two tubes and three um, piggies. So layering will be important. I'm gonna start with latte. Okay. Then I'm gonna go bone black. These are also a little thick because I mixed them up a long time ago. So even though they're airtight, sometimes they do start to thicken. Right on top of that black, I'm gonna go brulee, which right now you can't see the fire color that it is, but it's very coppery orange. And I'll do cinnamon, not too much because she takes over. Why don't I do a little, I've never done this. I'm gonna do a little flower with her. You know what I mean? There, how cute. Then I'm gonna to top it off with the Titan buff. And I'm gonna go very gentle with the Titan buff because she's opaque and we're just gonna drizzle Izzo like this. We don't wanna cover everything. Okay, let's talk cell activators. Um, so I have my two crazy cell activators. I think I'm going to, just so you remember, I'll probably top it off with this, but you have to remember or do I want to start with this? Hmm. So if you're doing a double cell activator, oh, I'm just going this. Um, the one you put down first is going to be more in the center. The one you put down on top is going to be around the edges. So I'm actually going to start with this one. 
Again, I have no idea if they're even gonna work, right? But we're gonna give it a go. Okay, wish me luck. I'm just gonna break up some pieces. I mean, it's definitely selling up. I'll have to give it some time. I don't wanna blow too hard, but this part's bothering me. I might just have to zhuzh it up a bit. Okay, but I'm not like concerned yet. I'll tell you when I'm concerned. Let's get a skewer while it's coming back to the, to the middle. Oh. All right, let's see how we're doing. I mean, it could be cool. Is it fall? I don't know. Yeah, so this is what's bothering me here. Um, I don't wanna blow too hard because I'm gonna really start bringing up the pillow. So we're just going to, I don't wanna bring too much white in there. I'm gonna gently do something, you know? It might spin off, but I just wanna break up some pieces a little bit. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, perhaps I'll just, you know, do something like that. I don't know. Perhaps I'll just do that. You never know. All right, I don't want to mess with it too much as I continue to mess with it, but Oh, did I like that? No, let's go this way. Uh, no, I have no idea how it's gonna spin out. All right, is it fall? Mm, who knows? Is it horrible? It's not horrible, horrible. So, you know, that's something. Okay, definitely not fall, but also, not horrible. <laughs> so I can't like really complain. Let's see. We'll wait to judge it in the light. Like I don't want to be too hasty with the judging. It's kind of cool. Not fall, but cool. This part really bothers me. I might want to redo guys. Because you know me. Um, yeah, I don't like how that did it. But okay, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go to the light and then you will tell me um, your thoughts. Okay. I don't mind these colors. There's certain things I do mind, but let's go to the light. Okay, I decided to keep it despite the imperfections because I feel like some of you might got mad at me and there were some parts I did like. This round, I'm going on a 12 inch. This is the tricorn black. You can see the purple label. I am gonna do a um, multi-bloom, two blooms. So I'm not gonna put too much pillow paint because I want negative space. Okay. Is that a bloop or a buble? It's always hard to tell, isn't it? Hold on. This uh, looks like a buble. 
So I'm just gonna stretch it out so I don't have to spin it too much, you know. All right, still could be too much, but, um, or should I do a bloom vine? Hmm, bloom vine or double bloom? Hmm, oh, it's always so hard to choose. I'll do double bloom, because I think I do bloom vines a lot. Okay, so because I'm on a black pillow, I might start with the brulee, although I do have the black in there too. You know, I'm gonna do the same. No, we're gonna start with brulee, because we're nuts. Okay, so I'm gonna do them close together, but not too close, because I wanna be able to blow, oops, okay. So I have the brulee. Um, in this case, why don't I reverse the light and the dark? I'll top that with a bit of the um, Titan Buff Light, okay? Then I will go some cinnamon, cinnamone, okay? Then I'll go Latte, 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 right? Then I'll top, top it with that black. Ooh, that really thickened up, didn't it? Blue, wow. Just by, I haven't, I've only been here 20 minutes. That might be a little too, I don't know if you guys can see, it's really, I'm gonna add a bit of Joe Sonia to it because that's a bit much. You know what I mean? We wanna make sure that our layers are all working together nicely. I wonder what thickened up like that. It's still a bit thick, but I'll just go gentle. Oops, like what was that? You know what I mean? I'm gonna go gentle with her. Okay, then I will do, oh, that's Elliot in the background. <laughs> um, then I will do the opposite, why not? I'll do this first, and then I will do the peach. And then we'll have a good little spin I'm just going on this side. Okay. What do you think? Is this gonna work? I don't know. Okay. Here we go. We're not even in the middle, but whatever. Okay. That peach really wants to like, you know, not open up. We'll see, maybe I just have to be patient, but I don't know. Cause you have to remember the middle is like gonna be the focal point and I don't know how I feel about it unless I really um, take my skewer to it. You know what I mean? I'm just not sure. What are we gonna do? I wonder if I wait like five minutes, what will happen? But then you're gonna start to get super distorted cells, which we don't want. Okay. So again, I don't mind the colors. This part's bothering me, that bloop of black. 
So at least can't really tell. Okay. So like I don't know, right? Again, here I go just like probably doing too much. <laughs> I'm always a little extra, aren't I? But we're gonna we're gonna do it. We got this. Unless this is like a bloop, I don't like. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I mean. Listen, I don't know yet. I can't tell you what's going to happen. Could be very psychedelic, you know? Uh, or it could be quite, oh, that was a bloop. Look at that. Good thing I found it before I span. Okay, I'm just getting this thing off, whatever that is. Okay, don't be alarmed. Okay. <sighs> Ready? You know what? I do like the colors. I do like the black. Okay? So I'm not going to be cranky about it. Um, is that a buble right there? Let us see. That's something. Okay. I mean, it's definitely a cool color combo. And I actually kind of like it. But do you know what? Maybe the troubling cell activators like ruining a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, maybe white would look nice, you know? Do I have to do one more? All right, another boob light. How much more? Okay, we got a bit more to spin. Just go like this. Well, thank you for sticking with me. Let me think about, I'm gonna spin, but I'm just saying. We'll take you to the light. I actually don't mind these colors. Are they fall colors? Uh, can we say they're Lisa fall colors? You know, because we have cinnamons, we have lattes, we have dark and stormy, you know? So I'm not hating this. So let's pretend, I'm okay, we're done. Let's pretend that these are my fall colors and I'm calling it my fall four, okay? And don't make me do any more brown. Um, I hope you guys like this. And let me know what you think. Is it too not fall inspired oh i guess it could be like halloweeny right because it's like black and a bit of the orange i don't know you guys will tell me all right like this video or subscribe bye